Hello everyone, my name is Sam Spade and welcome to another Coding Fundamentals and GML tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about operator basics. An operator is a character symbol or series of characters or symbols that represents an action. Mathematical operators are probably what most people are familiar with. The plus sign, the minus sign, the equal sign, and so on. However, most programming languages have many more operators than just the mathematical operators, and that's what we're going to cover in this tutorial. I've tried to group the operators that GameMaker Studio 2 has into some basic categories, and for each group, we're going to go through the various kinds of operators that exist in that category, along with the type of data that the operator can use, what it does with that data, uh, and then what it returns, or what you get as a result of the operation. Starting with arithmetic operators, you have all the ones that you would expect. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, you also have remainder and div. Div is the only operator that I could find that doesn't have a symbol, it's just div. All of these operators do exactly what you would expect. They take numbers and they perform operations on numbers and you get a number as a result of their operation. The only exception to this is the plus sign, which will also work with strings. So you can add two strings together, it will simply put whatever the second string is, it will append it or add it on to the end of the first. The asterisk on the negate operator is to remind me to tell you that the negate operator is a unary operator, which means that it only operates on one variable. It simply makes that variable negative. Next, we have the increment and decrement operators. Increment and decrement increase or decrease a number by one. So they take a number and they increase it by one in the case of increment, or they decrease it by one. The important thing to know with both operators, the increment and decrement, is you can put them before or after the variable that they modify. If you put them after the variable, the variable will be used and then incremented or decremented. If you put them before the variable, however, the variable will be incremented or decremented first and then used. So for example, if you were to say show debug message plus plus num and num is 10, when this line runs, num will be increased to 11 and then that result will be printed out. So it will be incremented first and then used. If you put num plus plus, show debug message would print 10 and then immediately make num equal to 11. Next up, we have assignment operators. We talked a lot about the single equal sign assignment operator in the variable basics tutorial, so I won't repeat that here. The rest of these assignment operators are shorthand for the phrase that comes after them in parentheses. So x plus equals y is shorthand for x equals x plus y. x minus equals y is equal to x equals x minus y. So in all these cases, they're just shorthand for these expressions. Next up, we have the comparison operators. For the comparison operators, we have equals, not equals, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, and less than or equal to. These four work exactly the same way they do in math. They take numbers, they evaluate those numbers, and they will return true or false. This is the actual equal sign in programming. It will check whether x is the same as y. You can use it with strings, numbers, and arrays, although it's very important to note that with arrays, you are checking to see whether the two variables are the same array, not whether the two arrays contain the same information. For that, you would have to use array equals. And you can also check to see whether they are not equal. Then there are logical operators, which I've done a whole tutorial on, so I'm not gonna spend any additional time on it, except to say that they are and, or, xor, or not. Not, again, is a unary operator. It operates on a single variable. These take Boolean values, and they give you Boolean values as a result of that operation. The parentheses operator does exactly what it does in math. It allows you to group operators together, or group variables and operations together so you can control the order that those variables are running or that those operations are done. And we'll have a whole tutorial on the order of operations where we will talk about this more. Last, we have bitwise operators. Bitwise operators operate on binary representations of a number. They return standard base 10 numerical values. They look like this. And we're not gonna talk about them, not because they aren't important or useful or helpful to understand, but in order to talk about bitwise operators, we'd also have to cover binary and how to switch between different bases, so base 2 and base 10. 
That's beyond the scope of this tutorial, but the Game Maker Studio 2 manual has a very good page on bitwise operators, what they were used for, why they're important, along with some examples of what you can use them for now. And that manual page will be linked at the end of this video. So in summary, an operator is a character symbol or series of characters or symbols that represents an action. They fall into some general categories such as arithmetic, assignment, comparison, logical and grouping operators, and the category that they are defines what type of information they can operate on. Finally, there's bitwise operators for extra credit. Again, the manual has a great page that you can reference to learn more about them. As always, the links in this slide will be below along with links to the source code and the slides themselves. That's it. Thanks for watching.